Question 16. So we have m squared, n to the negative 3 to the power of negative 1, times 2m squared, n to the 4 to the power of negative 2. First step, let us just expand, or actually essentially just apply the negative 1 to all elements inside the parentheses here, or the parentheses. Um, m squared to the negative 1 is just m to the negative 2, because 2 times negative 1, negative 2. Now, n to the power of negative 3 to the negative 1, negative 3 times negative 1 is just 3. And we're multiplying that by, now we also need to apply the negative 2 to all elements inside the parentheses. So we get 2 to the power of negative 2. m squared to the negative 2 is just m to the negative 4, 2 times negative 2, negative 4. And n to the 4 to the negative 2 is n to the negative 8. Of course, because 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. What about, no, what can we do? Well, we'll just, the only number that we have here is the 2 to the power of negative 2. We'll just leave it like there, like right uh, at the beginning. Um, followed by m to the power of negative 6, because we're actually adding these now, right? If we multiply elements with the same base, we can add the exponents. What about the n's? We have 3 plus negative 8. 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. Great, so now, taking a look at the answers here, we don't see a 2 to the power of negative 2. But we know that 2 to the power of negative 2 is just 1 over 2 squared. Does that make sense? Because if we have a negative exponent, we can just bring this element down to the denominator and change the signal to a positive. And 2 squared is just 4, so we get 1 over 4, which is just a quarter. So we have 0 0.25 m to the negative 6, m to the negative 5. So the answer is B. That's it.